for this week's Ask Kelly segment. And Josh from Aspenwall wrote in after seeing the story that we aired here on WTAE about a week ago about a man in Aliquippa who bowled three perfect games. He is only the 38th person in history to ever do so. He asks, how did Steven overcome the pressure in those final few frames? It really is amazing to think about, isn't it, that someone could make it through 36 frames without cracking? Well, we went bowling with Steven to see for ourselves. Steven Casella has become an overnight legend in the world of bowling. I'm getting calls from here to Arizona, to Canada, to, uh, I was on Nebraska News. On March 13th at the Beaver Valley USBC Association Tournament at Sheffield Lanes in Aliquippa, history was made. Let's go! He bowled a perfect 900, that is three perfect games or 36 strikes in a row, something only 37 other bowlers in history have ever done. The third game started in like the second or third frame. Every time that I was up, up the bowl, the whole place stopped and it just got dead silent. So after like the fifth or sixth, it just got quieter and quieter. When I got up here in that 10th frame, it was, the, the silence was almost deafening. It was so quiet in the place. So how did he not crack under that pressure? We spoke with other bowlers about that feeling. Clem Tott told us he once got close to a perfect game, but faltered on the last frame. So the last ball the, seemed like it got heavy. The, the alleys got quiet. To get up there, it's quiet, and I dropped it. Dropped the ball. That's 36 strikes in a row. That's a lot. That's like three hole and one for a golfer. Somehow, Steven did not give in. He told me all that was going through his mind in those final frames was the mechanics of the game that he knows so well. Get up there, make sure that you throw a good shot, and uh, just make sure everything was right. Stephen had a lifetime of practice to pull from. His parents worked at Baden Bowl, so he spent most of his days at the alley with his brother. As he moved throughout life, he joined leagues and entered tournaments. By day, Stephen is a mail carrier for the USPS, but by night, he is a bowling superstar. And for the purposes of this story, he was relegated to teaching a total novice how to throw a strike. Just pretend like, 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 like you're throwing a ball. Just like underhand to somebody. Okay. Three gutter balls later and we had a breakthrough. As far as what he was thinking right after he threw that last strike, Every day that's your goal. I mean, when you walk in the bowling alley, your, your ultimate goal is a 300 game. But to bowl three of them in one night, it was, it was, a, it was truly a dream come true. I mean, this was, it was just amazing to see in person. Did you see that form? Not your form, you were amazing. Oh, yeah, right. I, I, how about that strike? See, 35 more in a row. Yeah. And you can do it as well. See, he got three perfect games. I got three perfect gutter balls. So that's the comparison there. <laughs> she did get there. a strike, though. Ooh, but to get back to the question <laughs> that was asked, Stephen obviously not even understanding really himself how he was mm -hmm. able to do it, except he says he just focused on each shot as it came. And he has had his fair share of perfect games before this. He had 80, to be exact, mm -hmm. of one perfect game. His highest score before this 900 was 858. But really the great thing about how this happened was he was at a tournament with all of his friends. So they got to see it firsthand and they were there as we saw in the video, congratulating him right after. You always want to have a witness. Yes, a lot of witnesses. <laughs> it was really awesome. So big congratulations again, Stephen. If there's a question I can have answered for you at home, just let me know. You can leave me a voice message at the number on your screen. 412-244-4610, or you can jump straight in, send me a video message. You can share that with me in a Facebook message or by emailing askkelly at hearst.com.